guys welcome back to my channel it is Dee Dee with Dee Dee Loves Beauty and today's video is all going to be about decluttering I know you have seen numerous videos here on YouTube during this um, unfortunate crisis a lot of people are just trying to declutter reorganize items or places in their homes and I'm right on that bandwagon guys you know I decluttered my closet I've already done that I didn't think to record it because I immediately had plans to do that anyway while I was on spring break but I did see a few videos about um, decluttering your makeup um, collection and for one just a little insight I got into makeup a few years ago I am NOT by any means a beauty youtuber or anything so I don't get any PR or any type of free makeup or anything like that everything that I have in my collection is from stuff that I purchased I don't have a lot so I don't have as much as everyone else but I did feel like you know I do have enough and I do have stuff that I know I just do not gravitate to I have two different places in my um, room or my area that I keep makeup in and I honestly only use makeup from one area so I have stuff from two different places that I could honestly just get rid of. At first I was into like, oh, let me just have a collection. Let me build upon stuff. But at some point I realized like all of this makeup um, does not last forever. It has expiration dates. Um, a lot of these colors, a lot of these brands and stuff I just do not use anymore. So what is the point of having it in my collection just for show? Like there is no point of me having it. So I should really get rid of stuff stuff that I'm not using and you know just keep things in my collection that I actually do use and that products that I actually do like um, no matter the cost because there are going to be some things that I'm throwing away that was pretty pi pricey but at the end of the day I just don't use it and it's different reasons for why I don't use it and I don't like it so with that being said, I know I have rambled a bit, but I'm going to go ahead and get into this whole decluttering of my makeup um, organization kit. And if you like it, please make sure you subscribe, make sure you um, share it, make sure you like it, give me a thumbs up, and just stay tuned because I'm home just like most of you are. And in these downtimes, whatever videos I can think of to record, I will definitely be recording. So if you have any suggestions, also drop them in the comment box and stay tuned all right guys so let's go ahead and get started first we're gonna get started in my closet so in my closet i'm not going to show you guys everything because i do still have some things that i want to get together in my closet but in my closet i have these shelves and on this shelf here i have um makeup so so in these shelves i kind of have makeup in them all right eyeshadows i have some stuff in here as well i have a lot of mac lipsticks these are liquid lipsticks concealers i don't know what it is in there but as you can see i have these clear acrylic containers right anyway i'm sorry about the lighting but again it's dark but i have these um containers here so this is one container this is another clear one on top and then this one at the very top is separate as well it comes off and i used to have stuff up there but i've already taken that out and then this piece here from top to bottom is one piece and then here with the mac lipsticks that's a separate piece then over here is where it gets kind of just a just jump really you guys so eyelashes here um i have eyelashes foundations all of these are kind of like um eyeshadow and lip liners and stuff then this is where all of my um makeup sponges are some other brushes, um, watches and stuff that I don't even wear anymore because I always wear my Apple Watch. So, that's where we are. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of this stuff out of these containers, take it into my room where we have more light, and then I'll be able to go through everything to see kind of what it is that I need to go through. 
All right, so in addition to all this stuff that I just showed you in my closet, if you have watched any of my other videos, you know that I have um, a makeup vanity that's in my room that I've done several videos showcasing it on my channel before. So if you haven't watched it, please go ahead and do that. Um, the link will be in the description box. So in addition to all that, I have all these makeup brushes that I'm probably going to get rid of some of them, but not all of them because I honestly feel like I need them. But here, um, it doesn't look like a, like a lot right here, guys, but I promise you, it is a lot of stuff in here that I simply do not use. So I will be going through all of this stuff as well. So with that being said, let's kind of go ahead and jump into it. All right, guys, so here is what we have now. This is all of the makeup that was in my closet. So I have makeup here, and then I have a little bit of here as well as my palettes. So on this side, as you may guess, I do not have enough room to get anything out of here. So the steps is I'm gonna go through all of this stuff here first, and then I'm gonna go through this stuff. Here. I'm gonna just go for it. Everything is pretty much um, unorganized. And I'm not going to organize it just to throw it away. So I'm going to just start trying to pick out stuff that I know off top I don't want. So, like for instance, this is bronzing, shimmer, and face powder. Never used. Or I did use it, but it's not my color. Had this NYX matte bronzer. An illuminating bronzer. I don't use those anymore. Um, I got this in one of those like kits or something. I never. What is this? Oh, I think it's like a lip balm. But. Oh, it's a plumping lip balm treatment. Don't need it. Um, I picked up this last year, this CoverGirl Peach Punch Highlighter Palette. It was okay, but it wasn't my favorite. I'll put it to the side. I don't know. This is the Black Opal. I think this is, I think I used to use this for contour, but I don't use it anymore either. Trash. Um, this Urban Decay Palette. This is what it looks like in the inside. Trash. Um, what is this? This is a sleek makeup lipstick. No. Something on your mind. I'm gonna try to help you let it go. You got, you got, you got something on your mind. I'm gonna try to help you let it go.
So I have this Makeup Forever Ultra HD. I don't think I wore this very often. It says that it's good for 12 months. Um, it's March. I don't remember when I purchased this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and look at my like Sephora receipts to try and figure out how long ago it was that I purchased this. If it's been over a year, it's going to go in the trash. This is old for sure. Getting rid of this. So this NARS foundation is another one that I rarely use because I think it wasn't the right color. I don't know. I think I was going to exchange it, but I did not forgot about it it says that it's good for 24 months and I don't know how long I've had it but I'm gonna have to check with it because again I didn't use it very often but it's a lot of formula in here left so I don't know I do remember doing a video on the color pop foundation I think it was probably a year ago and it's good for 12 months but CoverGirl foundation. It's old. I don't wear it anyway. Alright, now I'm looking at my MAC lipsticks. Now, I honestly do not wear these MAC lipsticks anymore. If you know how long these lipsticks are supposed to last, let me know because I'll probably end up having to come back and go through these again. Remember back in the day where MAC lipsticks were the thing and everybody had a MAC lipstick? And we were all running out to get the latest shade and all of it. Like, MAC lipsticks was like the thing when I first got into makeup. But I don't really hear people talk about them much anymore. Um, but again, let me know how long they last and if they're old and I'm probably going to have to get rid of them as well.
I don't have um, any only thing I have over here now is my palettes so that's cleared off so now I only have this and I got rid of a lot of stuff so I'm happy about that on to part two so we're gonna start with concealers. Of course, these are my fancy ones. I'm gonna keep that. These are not my favorite. They were cheap. Alright guys, so that is it. Again, this is what I end up with. So remember everything. I don't have anything in here. This is where I put my um like leftover eyeshadow things. This is some other lip products and some lip products here. Um, this is pretty much empty now. I don't have anything in here except like some odds and ends and brushes. Here is where my palettes are. So I think I did pretty well. Alright guys, so that's it. This is all of the makeup that I was able to get rid of. It's a lot for me, so I'm happy with it. And this is kind of what my vanity looks like on the top. I still do have to go in and clean the top of it because it is dirty but it's really easy to clean there's no problem with cleaning it this is what the inside of my vanity looks like as well it still is a lot of product but again I did get rid of a lot of items so I'm really happy with the turnout guys so again thank you for watching this video if you watched the entire video make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in my next one